Today we're going to be looking at percentages of quantities. Calculating percentages of quantities. To calculate a percentage of a quantity, you will first need to convert the percentage into a fraction or a decimal. For example, 12.5% of a number x is the same as 0.125 multiplied by x, or 1 over 8 multiplied by x. Here is our first example. In these examples, we will first be converting these percentages into fractions. A. 40% of 33 kilograms. We'll first change 40% into 4 out of 10, multiplied by 33. Here is a fraction of a quantity. To complete a fraction of a quantity, we'll first divide 33 by 10, and then multiply by 4. So we'll be left with 13.2. B, 66 and 2 thirds percent, multiplied by 36. 66 and 2 thirds percent is the same as 2 thirds. So we want to find 2 thirds of 36. To find this, we'll do 36 divided by 3, which is 12, multiplied by 2. So we'll have 24 centimetres. In our next example, we want to find 180% of 4,000 people. It is important to understand that 180% is simply 100% plus 80%. We already know what 100% is. 100% is 4,000 people. So we want to find what 80% equals to. 80% is 4 fifths. So we want to find 4 fifths of 4,000 people. Take 4,000, divide it by 5 we'll be left with 800 and multiply by 4. So we're left with 3,200. So we want to add 4,000 by 3,200. Our answer will then be 7,200 people. Here is our next example. You earn $900 per week. A. You pay 11% into a pension fund. How much do you pay into your pension? We'll change 11% to become 11 on 100 and multiply it by 900. Here is another fraction of a quantity. Let's do 900 divided by 100, which is 9, and then multiply by the numerator, which is 11. So we're left with $99. After paying for other expenses, you take home 68% of your earnings. What is your take home pay? 68% is 68 divided by 100. First, we'll do 900 divided by 100, which will give us 9, multiplied by 68. Here we'll get $612. Here is our final example. You bought an exotic painting 20 years ago for $500. It is now worth 270% of its value. How much is the painting worth today? It is important to understand that 270% is the same as 200% plus 70%. 200% is double $500. That will give us $1,000. So we need to find what 70% of $500 is. 70% is 7 on 10. So we need to multiply 7 on 10 by 500. 500 divided by 10 will give us 50. So we'll do 50 multiplied by 7, which is $350. Add $1,000 by $350, which will give us our answer, which is $1,350.